Business today. My name is Goodness Duru, and in this segment of business today, we'll be discussing a small scale business, how you can start up your own small scale business, and why you need to venture into small scale business. Small scale business are enterprise privately owned and operated. They manufacture goods and services with relatively smaller machines and few employees. Small scale business are found out to be to play an important role in the social and economic development of a society, thereby helping in curbing the, rate, the rate of unemployment in a society. In our, today, in our today's society, we see the youth, people depending on the government for white collar jobs, which have torn increased the rate of unemployment and also crime. What we see today, why we encourage small scale business is that it doesn't just make you a boss, but it also makes you an employer of labor, thereby helping to reduce the unemployment in the society and making it conducive for everyone in to be. In an interview with one of a small scale business owner who started very small, but today he's not just big in the business, but he's also an employer of labor, has this to say. My name is Aulidu Banjagora. I inherited this business from my mother. I have been in this business for 40 years over now. I have built house in this town which is bigger. I have built house in Sokodo which is my state. I have four wives, two the business. Two is in Sokoto, two is in Bida here. I have 15 workers. Some are in Sokoto, some are here in Bida, including my own children. And I pay them well. Aside from the master, we also sell goat meat, cow meat, chicken, and also two on Shekafa. We use foreign rice to produce all this. I prefer business than white man color job to master business and I enjoy the business. I finished I finish my secondary school and I joined this business because I don't want to be an Edo person. I've been in this business for over 15 years. I had built house inside the business and my boss doesn't delay us whenever it's due to pills. <laughs> My advice to the youth, they shouldn't see any job as female job. Though some of them call us gay, we are not gays. We only strive for survival. Wow, that's so interesting. Aside doing a job of a woman, is actually doing very well in that business. I'm beginning to think of opening my own master business. Well, that's a thought for another day. One of the benefits of small scale business is, aside being your old boss, you end up to employ people thereby reducing the rate of unemployment in the society. And that's why many organizations and financial institutions are taking this upon themselves to come up with, to come up with small scale business scheme and grants to those who want to venture into small scale business. As an educated elite, would you love to be an employer or an employee? Or if you're given a grant of 200,000 naira, what will you love to? What kind of business would you want to venture into? Let's go to the street and get to hear the opinion of the masses. Good evening, viewers. Welcome to Business Today. My name is Ugoma Sunday, and today we'll be sampling people's opinion on if they are being given a sum of 200,000 naira to venture into a business, what would they likely do with it? And secondly, if they would like to be employees of employers of labor or an employee. I join want to venture on fashion designer. Why, please? 
Because fashion designer is is one of the business that is very okay in Nigeria for now. Because many people depend on sewing clothes with different style. So if I invest on fashion designer, I believe I can gain a lot within six months. I'll achieve a lot on it. And you're very sure you will do so well in it. Yes, yeah, I would love to um, invest it into um, co- a cosmetic business because. It has. It seems to be the order of the day, and I would love to actually do that. Patronize, revance, weeks, and the rest. And you're very sure you do well in it. I'm very, very sure. I'd like to say I'm with chemicals. Why? Because the period we have now, people are farming now, so and it moved market. Even though it's 15 naira you got, is a profit in it. Okay. Well, I have a business in mind that by sending parts, because I'm an automobile engineer. Okay, and you're sure you will do so well in it? By God, please. I'll be an employer. Why? Because I don't like to depend on someone. Maybe someone will be controlling me or something. I like to be controlling people. So I will do what I like if it is my business. An employer. Why, please? Because being an employee, you have to be employing people, not you being employed. And by being an employer, you have the right and dominion of our yourself. Be an employer or employee. I will be an employee. Because I, I have the chance of um, giving other people hope and maybe giving them jobs and the rest. And I, I'll be on my own. I'll be a one man. That's so amazing. Thank you very much for your Owning a business is a great way of earning an extra income. You don't depend on what you're being paid in your office to put the food on your table or to provide your daily needs. We can't end this program without enlightening you on the small scale business. So today, we're educating you on the trending business in town, which is makeup. Over to you, TK. Thank you very much, goodness, on, and welcome to today's episode on how to do. Today, I'm going to teach us on how to end small. My name is Allow me I the and the CEO of Glams by Tika. I'm a makeup artist. Today I'm going to tell to teach us on how to apply makeup and how to enlighten us more on how to attract customers. And as you can see, I have a client with me already waiting to be all set out in glamour and as a makeup artist, let's start like this. As a makeup artist, there are varieties of makeup you do on your clients and which you tend to end more. So today I'm going to show us on just a just touch of makeup as like you can call it a nude makeup per se to wear to class, to wear to offices. So today I'm going to open my box and you can see it here. There's a box. It contains almost all the items I'm going to use. So let's get started. Firstly, doing your makeup, you need to, the first thing that comes to your mind is to wipe your client's face by taking a wipe, any wipe that is a baby wipe, not alcoholic wipe. You clean your client's face. This is shade 3 and this is shade 2. For me to get her actual skin color, I need to mix the two foundations together and which is what I'm doing here. Then, this is a setting spray and you'll be wondering what's inside. I had to pull some glitter stuff inside to make my work finish, to have a perfect finish. Then, you start. As you can see, I'm not doing it like this, I'm just tapping. All I'm doing is a straight line. A 
a straight line down then come above the brows draw also a straight line That's just a simple makeup. Like I said earlier, I said we have varieties, different type of makeup. We have nude, we have glamour, we have smoky, which those ones represent traditional marriage. But for this, this is a walk-in studio makeup. I charge for 5,000 naira for walk-in studio. But if I'm outside my vicinity, I charge more than that. But this is just a perfect makeup to go to class, to go to offices, and for students who are always on campus with heavy makeup, you are not supposed to go to class with an heavy makeup. You should go with your just a touch of pencil, your brows, and the rest you have done. This is just for 5,000 naira. Then I have made a lot of money from it. You can start somewhere. Don't see it as a, it's expensive. I don't have the money. All your pockets money, you can use it to just buy little, little things. And before you know it, at, at the end of it, you are on top of it. For you to have this kind of perfect look on my clients, I am the CEO of TCAM, Glams by TCAM, and my number is 080 796594. Thank you very much. I will take you back to the studio. Thank you. Wow. Hope you've learned from Glams TCAM. Makeup is something you can start with no matter. Makeup is something you can start small. No matter the amount you have and I'm going to be taking you on the steps that you need to start up any small-scale business you want to venture into and number one step here is do your research look for a, prob a problem your product or your service will profile solution to make a plan plan your finance choose a business structure pick and register your business name license and permits Choose your accounting system, set up your business location, get your team ready. And the last but not the least is promote your small business. That brings us to the end of today's program. See you this time, same station. I remain my humble self. Goodness, Duro. Take care. Just writing, 